Hi, and welcome to this video, which is an introduction to Cube Explorer, the program I use to find algorithms. Now, this is just going to be a short introduction, so if you want to know more about Cube Explorer, some more advanced functions, then you should go to my channel, uh, which will have a more advanced video uploaded tonight. First, I'm going to show you how to download it. So to download Cube Explorer, you just need to type in Cube Explorer into Google. You should see the links to Cosiemba's page, and then go to the download page. You can download it from here. Now that you have Cube Explorer open, you can go over the basic functions. So here, you, on the right, you can see a cube interface, and there are several ways to set up the cube into the state that you want. So there's a text box here where it says Enter Maneuver, and you can type in moves in normal standard cube, uh, cube notation. So let's do R, U, and then you press Apply, and then your cube will do the moves R and U. Another way to do it is to use this uh, pad of letters here. And they contain the normal moves, the slice moves, the, and the rotations. To do the move, just left click on it. If you want to do the inverse of the move, however, you can just right click. So to undo our RU, we want to do U prime R prime. So if I right click on the U, we'll do a U prime. And right click on the R, we'll do an R prime. So you can use these buttons to manipulate the cube also. The third way to do it is to just paint the cube. So you can select the colour by just pressing the centerpieces on each side. And now that I have white selected, I can start to paint a piece white, sticker white. So you can just set up your cube state by painting the whole cube. Now if you want to start from a blank cube rather than a solved cube, you can use the reset to empty button. You can use the reset to clean button to make it a solved cube. And the random state button to give you a random state. The C's and the E's in this area correspond to corners and edges. So if you just want corners solved, then you press the C next to the clean and you'll get your corners solved. If you want the corners to be blank, then press the other C. You want your edges solved, press this one, and the edge is empty. Okay, so now that we've learned how to set up the cubes, we're going to find out how to uh, get algorithms from this program. So let's do this R and U again. So now let's find out how to solve it, which is very obvious, but let's make Cube Explorer do it. So now that it's set up here, we can use the Add and Solve button. That will add it to this window on the left. We can see that it's given us the solution u prime r prime that it's two moves long. You can also find out how to set up the cube state that you've set up uh, by using the generate function. So we can add and generate. Alternatively, you can just press the solver here and it will switch between generating and solving. Okay, let's find something more complicated. So we'll have a completely random cube state and let's make it add and solve it. So it's found a 22 move solution, which is of course not optimal, but we can use this green button here to reduce the number of moves. So by pressing this it will look for a shorter solution, and it will keep going, and after a while it will struggle to find another one. So it's, it's found a 17 mover, but it's probably going to struggle to get any further than that right now. So we're just going to stop that. Now to find an optimal solution, just tick the optimal, and press go. And this will just wait until it finds the optimal solution and then it will post it. So now you can solve the cube state. Let's find out how to find a list of algorithms for a, for a specific case that you want. So let's just set up a U perm. We have a U perm. Now if you want to find a new U perm, you probably don't want to just find one algorithm like this. You want to have our list. So to do that we can use the right click function. And right clicking on the cube gives you blank pieces. Now by putting a whole piece blank like this, 
and forcing it to open a new window and give me a whole list of ALGs. Notice how I haven't made the cube state ambiguous because I've only removed one edge. So now we will press add and solve. This window will appear and it will start generating a lot of algorithms. At any point you can press the stop search button. So now I have a list of U perms starting from the optimal 9 mover working through 10, 11 and 12 moves. I can search through these to find one that I like. That's all, that's all I'm going to cover for this um, introductory video. As I said, if you want to learn more about the functionalities, which include learning uh, about just orientation of pieces or permutations, not caring about orientations, or restricting your move sets, things like that, uh, which will all help you to find different algorithms, then you should check out my other video, uh, which is on my channel now. Well, thanks for watching. Um, and hope you have fun with us.